Welcome to the nutrition segment. And uh, it's time for us to talk about uh, anemia and anemic conditions and how to best uh, resolve them when you find yourself in that situation. Uh, remember that the uh, conversation is interactive. The hashtag is Breakfast Daily. The WhatsApp line, which is on your screen, plus 233 Now, our guest, um, who's a regular on the show, um, Akosia Kunedu Yadom is a state registered nutritionist and she's going to help us to understand what it takes to boost your iron stores quickly. Good morning, Akosia. Good morning, Kyo. How are you doing? I'm fine, yourself? I'm very well, thank you. Welcome. Um, so, how do we, uh, first of all, what are the, some of the things that cause depletion of iron? And then <clears throat> we can talk about recovery. Okay, so, um, quickest way to boost our iron levels or HP levels in a week. Yes, and that is what we are discussing. And to your question, um, there are various factors that will make um, your HP level low. Mm. And it would have to do with certain um, 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 things our bodies go through, especially as women. We bleed every month, yes. And so it is bound to happen at a point if you are not always eating right or making sure that your stores are enriched, there will definitely be a depletion somewhere. In pregnant women, yes, and so various factors can contribute to that. Every um, regular person, being a man, woman, you need a certain level as far as your HP is concerned. And we know that iron plays a key factor as far as hemoglobin is concerned. Yes, yes and so for a man, you should be equal to 14 or between 14 to 18 grams per deciliter. Okay. For a woman, you should be equal to 12 or between 12 to 16 grams per deciliter. So if there is a pitfall, you find yourself um, outside this, then it means that there is a depletion. For okay. a pregnant woman, if with the first trimester, and then with the third trimester, you are below 11. Mm. Then it means that we need to step in because we, we've done well. We come, we've come far as, as a country as far as um, she went to deliver and never came home. Mm. It's concerned. Yeah. Fetal um, 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 deficiencies as far as sometimes low birth weight, can, it can be a reason of um, low HB and other bed defects, we've, we've done so well, we've, 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 we've been better, and we can still do more because it's still happening. Mm. So various factors, are, some, some have, um, have spoken about it, and they are what happens day, to, day, day in, day out. They can contribute to you having a lower HP. Mm. Okay. So what are some of the ways we can quickly boost our ion? Okay, so you Stores. have to, okay, for even the iron, we have the hem iron, and then we have the non-hem. And we know that, um, you and me, but um, <laughs> let's tell our viewers, the hem iron has to do with the animal flesh and the products, and then non-hem has to do with the plant source. So they, there are animal source, um, sources of iron, mm. and we have uh, meat, mutton, uh, beef, being part of meat and um, okay. poultry, fish, they are all examples of um, hem iron. Mm. And the non hem iron has to do with <clears throat> the leafy green vegetables mm -hmm. and then citric, the citric family foods, orange, pineapple, lime. And we have watermelon, we have eggs, they all are sources of iron. And now, when you consume them, they have a way of boosting or making sure you have healthy hemoglobin because you know that hemoglobin obviously has to do with um, um, iron. Yeah. Yes, and blood. Yes, so that, that is it. And for today's presentation, we decided to help our viewers boost their HB levels because we want them to stay fit. We want our men to stay fit. We want our women to stay fit. And for even women, it is such a very critical thing because, like I said, every month we are menstruating. Our bodies go through a lot of changes as far mm. as childbearing is even concerned. Mm. We menstruate and a whole lot of things. Sometimes, yeah. too, <clears throat> it is just low. For instance, if you have persons whose bodies naturally cannot absorb 
iron like the way let's say Quirkus body will absorb iron is on the low it means that we have to step in and do something about it even if the hem and on hem foods are failing for some people you critically would need to step in with supplementation yes so what sort of supplements are you talking about iron supplement okay, obviously so like, just to it's, it, it's a supplement could be it could be or anything liquor. but i don't work with medications yeah. i i am I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with nutrients and supplements okay. so that is why i i said supplements so based on what you and your doctor agree on you can decide to go in for a b c based on what i as a nutritionist and you will decide on i can go like okay aside the fact that i need to make sure i'm pumping a lot of iron rich foods into your meals for the persons whose body is struggling to even absorb yeah. those ions from the food what do i need to do mm. obviously i need to do supplementation and it's something we think okay there is iron in meat and um, liver so i can take it but sometimes to certain combinations makes it wrong for us as far as the absorption of iron is concerned Kweku, a good example i i ask patients growing up you enter a restaurant they serve fish they serve meat and then they have slices of lemon yeah. or lime on it yeah. We initially, what was it? What, 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 what comes in mind, Kweku? Put science aside, like a typical Ghanaian, what comes to mind? Yeah, the, the criteria, you know. Well, yeah, but I guess right? it depends on, and I guess it depends on um, also your experience and, 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 and what you were taught as a So child let's coming answer up. it like a, as a lay person, yeah. because um, as a lay person, what is It's will basically come, to garnish it. It's basically to garnish it. But mm. you know what, Kweku, would meet. And the citric family, it makes the citric family when combined with that becomes an enhancer. We have enhancers, we have inhibitors. So for some people, it's not that the iron is not available. It's not that they are not eating the iron, yeah. but what are they adding okay. to that food? So when it comes to even food combinations, it can make the absorption of iron in the meat, in the fish, a problem. Now, fish, they, they normally will put the lime on it or lemon on it. And some people, I've seen it being done before. It's like, hey, what, what is this? They squeeze it on the fish. Mm. It is not just to take care of that, um, that smell. It's not just to, to clear it out of our mouth or to make our mouth smell a certain way. It's to help the absorption of iron. So let's say I decide to go for a fish meal, a meat meal, a classical thing to do. It's probably for my in-between to, to push something citric, orange or mm. pineapple juice. Or for my meal, I can decide to go for juice and I will go for orange juice. Okay. Now, my body will be able to absorb every ion in that meat or fish. The same way there are inhibitors. Inhibitors has to do with things that makes the work or the absorption of iron difficult. Reduce, okay. You have a lot of pregnant women being anemic and have given the, the, the baseline. If in your second trimester you are below 10, it means that you are anemic okay. and we need to quickly step in. So we don't have to finish this conversation without doing that recipe for our viewers to to, to really, it's, it's done in one week, quick, I can guarantee okay. you. Yes. So if it is low, we need to step in and make sure we are doing something as soon as we can about it. Because normally I tell pregnant women or we tell them in the facility, after 32, after 30 weeks, anything can happen. You can mm. deliver. So if you find yourself within 30 to 38 and your iron yeah. or your HB level is so low, it means that you really need to really pay attention to this conversation. Mm. And there are signs that will, will, will tell you that you are anemic or your HB, your iron levels are low. You feel dizzy, you feel tired, you can't concentrate. Yes. And so sometimes too, people experience a lot of insomnia. If you are going through that, you need to check your iron levels mm. because it could be a reason for that. Okay. So when you look at plant-based um, iron sources and then, and then animal-based iron sources, as a nutritionist, which, which would be your preference? Obviously, 
the hem ions are there, but we need the non-hem ions too. So I believe in proper... As in the animal, the yes, animal we, The hem is the animal, mm. and then that's the excellence horse, and then we have the non-hem. But obviously, if I have a client sitting in front of me, and I have to plan the client's meals to mm. make sure I am factoring this all into the yeah. meal plan of the client, I can't force the hem ion on the person mm. because the person is not somebody eating the hem ion. But I have to make sure that this like person is this person is so getting on. equal amounts of the iron he or she will need as far as the plant sources are concerned yes if you don't take meat soya is a classical example as far as mm. um, substituting is concerned and then the darker um, the leafy green vegetables they are also excellent yes okay. broccoli is perfect so i normally will box them and say green leafy because if i'm talking about broccoli my grandmother may not know broccoli but my grandmother may know contumery so contumery is excellent for somebody like my grandmother who can easily find contumery so the leafy green vegetable if it's a leafu if it is boko boko if it is uh, what's um, the northernest sule, there is this leaf, there is bra, they use it for their, their, their soup called mm. sule. So whatever you find around you, because okay. this is on DSTV, you have even Nigerians, people across Africa are watching. So work with what you have around you as far as the darker or the dark leafy greens are concerned. They are excellent sources mm. of iron. So prescribe a meal that you can say this meal in one week if you stay on this <laughs> you're definitely going to boost your iron sources now it's not a meal it's a juice we call it the turkey berry juice and okay. we have used it to help a lot of pregnant women as far as uh, my facility where i work is concerned we've really boosted the iron the hb levels of Almost every pregnant woman who came there. Turkey berry juice. Turkey berry juice. Now okay. we use what we call locally coin susa, and some people call it abedru. Okay. We have What's an image of that. If it's if it's ready, we can just. This is um, mm. abedru or okay. coin susa. This is what they call turkey berry. So now you need to make sure you 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 take the head off. Mm. Yes, and for the the portioning. We have yeah. to get 500 ml of this. So this is 500 ml. Yes, so please pay attention to it. After the effective um, living series, a lot of people sending me DMs, calling me to know how the turkey berry juice okay. is made. Instagram, all over the place. Please pay attention to this. Um, you make sure you get your turkey berries. I can assure you two cities should be okay for what we are coming to do. Okay. Two cities worth of turkey berries. Okay. And then you take the head off. You wash with salt solution. So salt in water. You wash it to make sure we take care of every debt and every um, um, bacteria or whatever we can see with our naked eyes. Now, afterwards, you rinse it with another clean water. This time, mm. no salt okay. in it. Clean water. You let it sit. Then you get um, 500 ml of water this is equivalent to 500 ml yes so you get 500 ml of water this is more sorry <laughs> but get 500 that's one sachet um, um water yes. equivalent or yes. the small uh, mineral water bottle mm -hmm. the, the equivalent of that yeah. now you boil it you boil it and then you pour it on the turkey berries we are parboiling. We are not cooking. Now, a lot of people said that they are doing it, but it appears that they are doing it the wrong way. Okay. So, you, we are parboiling. We are not boiling. Okay, so wait. I could just reiterate that again. You said that we boil the water. You boil the water separately. Separately, okay. And now pour it onto your clean okay. turkey berries. Okay. 500 ml over two cities worth of turkey berries. Mm. Now. Which would be sort of what volume I'd be looking at. Okay, so. Um, Roughly. Roughly, um, the would, dessert bowl is would not it fit, would it fit in? So that's why we are using the 500 ml. Yeah. We are juicing. Mm. So at seven, a day you have to take 1,500. Morning, 500 ml. Um, afternoon, afternoon, 500, 500 ml, ml. Evening, 500 okay. ml. It can be very difficult for some people, but two should be okay. But if you are doing the three, mm. I can assure you that in one week, Kweku, you should get a healthy HP level. Wow. So now... After parboiling, yes. after pouring your hot water, water on, on the, the turkey berries, mm. you allow it to sit for some time. Okay. We don't want it to overcook 
and the water is is is, is too hot. So mm. what normally I will recommend you do is that after allowing it to sit for let's say up to five minutes, just drain it and then probably keep the water in the, the fridge just to cool because we are going to add pineapple and pineapple is blessed with vitamin C mm. and that is an enhancer going to help us take every goodness from that turkey okay. berry. So if you add the pineapple to the hot water, you destroy vitamin C. Mm, okay. So we have to make Restrain sure... Restrain the water Yes, off. we are going to use that same water to blend everything we have. So okay. make sure you keep it cold. In some places, for instance, we had a baby fair, pregnancy um, fair. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we were sort of in a hurry, so we added a bit of cubes just to make it to cool, cold, down, faster. To cool down faster. Because yeah. if you add the pineapple to the hot water, you destroy vitamin mm -hmm. C and it will make the absorption very difficult. So let's get it right. Now, after chilling your water, you pour it back and then cut your pineapple i'm yeah. using pineapple because um turkey berries are very sour okay. they are bitter so a yes so pineapple is okay for some people they are not comfortable with pineapple you can use orange okay. some people use even watermelon because it's also an enhancer mm. but i'm talking about powerful enhancers okay and pineapple orange they are pineapple and uh, powerful, powerful enhancers. enhancers. Okay. So I will choose um, pineapple. Mm. So with the medium to large size pineapple, you should take half okay. of the medium to large size mm. of um, pineapple. On the market, it is two cities. It can go for two cities or three cities. Half of that. If you get what they sell, one city, one city, 50 pesos, you okay. can use all. all right. Yes, so medium to large size. Mm. You use half of this. So you chop them and then add it to your turkey berries your mm. parboy turkey berries yeah. with the cold water okay. or the stock now you blend it and then you strain mm. so the juice should be able to fill the small mineral water bottle size because remember quickly we used 500 ml yes so you should get that equivalent mm. that should be a seven for for the morning for the morning and then you so repeat. if you want to do it three times in the day it means that you should pick three times of every ingredient okay. we spoke about here okay. now morning 500 afternoon 500 evening 500 for some people i decided to add a bit of ginger powder because mm -hmm. some people would want it to to taste a certain way but what we are in, interested in is the turkey berries okay. and the pineapple. Okay. If you can do away with the ginger powder, perfect. Okay. If you can if you can't too, you can add just yeah, a pinch bit. of that to it. And this if you should do what you So the turkey about, berries that we see we, we, we saw this one, the, this one here. The, yeah. Would this be enough? No, this is not enough. This is just to show our viewers what okay. we are talking so about. So like maybe what double of this or triple of this? No. This for the set the size I, I spoke about as yeah. far as even one city fifty percent to two two so this yeah. is concerned, it should be up to like ten times this. Oh ten times okay. Okay. And you use that in one in one serving. Yes. Wow. Okay. Because sometimes I, I a lady sent me a message. Okay, I listened to you on Effective um, Living series, yeah. and I've been getting it all wrong. My mm. mom just screenshot what what um, you spoke about, but it's yeah. just that it's radio. You can't show certain yeah. things. Yeah. So I realized that I can't be answering question after question after question. Right. So now we've, we've discussed it. I'm mm. sure, I'm hoping it's uploaded it's onto um, um, Facebook as far as City FM, City TV is concerned for viewers to have um, 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 this amazing topic and then yeah. probably boost their iron levels in a week. Trust me, if you do it well, you should achieve results. Super. Thank you very much, Akosia. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. We've been talking to Akosia Konedu Yadom, who is a state registered nutritionist, and she's been helping us to understand how to boost our iron stores in under a week uh, with, with you know, good, the full goodness of turkey berries. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the show. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.